Do you ever feel like you are the only person in the world that feels this crazy around food, around eating, about your body? If so, you're in the right place. I'm Katie Seaver, founder of Intuitive and Luscious Eating, and that's what I want to talk about today. That feeling of, I'm so alone. That feeling of, no one feels as crazy around food as me. It's so easy to go around the world, uh, go around your day, and think to yourself, yeah, some people overeat, some people are overweight, but nobody has all this craziness in their head like I do. I know that, that we have that, those thoughts because I felt that way forever. And the members of my dessert club, my small group coaching program, all report feeling the same way too. Once they finally joined that community and were able to just be with a group of nine women who all had those same issues, it kind of blew their minds. They all have been telling me all the time, yeah, just being able to listen to a bunch of other women who struggle with the same things, who are trying similar things, it just makes them feel so much better. So I wanted to make this video to talk about these issues for two reasons. The first is that, you know, I can't be in the same room as you. We may never actually meet face to face or person to person, but I wanted you to know that for me here, sitting in this room in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, to you, wherever you are in the world, I wanted you to know that you are not alone. You're not alone, you're not alone. If you feel crazy around food, if you feel unhappy about the way that your eating is impacting your life, if you have this nagging sense that the problem isn't just that you can't stick to a diet, but that it somehow goes much deeper and has to do with much deeper issues in your life, you're probably right. And you're not the only person that feels this way. This isn't weird and unfortunately it's not even unusual. So if nothing else, I want you to come away from this video knowing that, that you're not crazy and you're not alone. If I could reach through this video screen, I would give you a hug or I would shake you or I would do something so that you would know that you don't have to feel crazy and if you could just like feel someone's hands on your shoulder just giving you a big shake, hopefully you'd know that you're not alone. So the second reason I wanted to make that video, this video, in addition just to telling you that you're not alone, is that I want to give you a bit of a challenge this week, a bit of an invitation. And that challenge, that invitation, it's going to be pretty challenging. I'd like to urge you, to invite you, to challenge you to create some sort of community or conversation around this stuff in your own life. And look, if you're watching this video, you know, you're procrastinating or it's late at night or whatever, it can be really, really easy to not do this, to say, you know what, yeah, I know, it's good to know that I'm not alone, but I don't want to create community. That's way too much. That's scary. That's too scary. I couldn't talk to people about this. But I want to urge you to rethink that because I know how scary it is. It's so scary. When I even started writing my blog, I was scared. But if you can can have a conversation about this with anyone, with someone. You could pick a family member or a close friend or even just, you know, picking one of my articles and sharing it on Facebook and having people, other people on Facebook say, yeah, I feel that way too. I feel crazy around food too. That's an amazing feeling. That tells you that you're not alone. So that's my challenge for you this week. Find a way to speak with someone, connect with someone, connect with a larger community. If you want a pre-made community that's already there, filled with people who are definitely struggling with these issues, um, I'm gonna be opening enrollment to the Dessert Club, which is my small group coaching program, and there's a bunch of information about that below. So I'd love to have you join, but also you don't have to. You just have to find a way to connect with someone, anyone about this. Because until you do, you're always going to feel alone. So do it. Do it this week. I know it's going to be scary. Just do it in a small way. And beyond everything, know that I'm rooting for you. And I'm sending you strength and support in this week. 
and I really, I believe that you've got this. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like this content, there's a lot more like it on katiesiefer.com. And until next time.